Greetings, guys and gals, to another Jabber Jabber, and this is, yes, the Pro League finally, uh, pretty much OGN is just like, you know what, screw you guys, we're doing it anyways. And so, we have SKT1 versus KT Rolster, the first and second placers from the previous Pro League. I I'm not entirely sure if they do that every single time, but uh, I'm assuming they do. And this first match is going to be a very good one. We have KT's Flash at the top right and at the bottom left, Endai So or Sue, I think is how you say it, as the uh, red Zerg here. And this is really exciting, especially because Flash is just on a tear. I mean, he's pretty much beat the multiplayer of StarCraft, as Moltrap would say. And he's just coming off wins in WCG, as well as... Uh, the OSL, MSL, and of course his KT Rollstar team won the Pro League. And there's Flash of course showing off saying, oh, you know what? I can just do whatever the hell I want at the beginning of the game. I don't have to spam. don't have to do any of that stuff. I can take a drink, rip off my uh, 20,000 band-aids that I have on for some odd reason and <laughs> do that. But anyways, so... He said that StarCraft, and I know I put, I know I commented on this on one of my other videos, but he said that he's going to be playing StarCraft for at least five more years, which is kind of a ridiculously long time if you think about how technology is going. And so I think that it was a little bit of an overstatement. I know what he meant. He he meant that uh, Brood War is never going to die, not going to fall to StarCraft II. Um, but in reality, I think that this is going to be one of the last Pro Leagues, unfortunately. Either this one or the next season. It's probably the last Pro League. Probably going to switch over to StarCraft 2. I know people don't like hearing that, but uh, I think a lot of the Koreans and a lot of the mainstream people, too, are going to switch over to StarCraft 2 as they've been doing. And you even see people like Boxer, uh, who's now in the GSL, you know, switching over. It looks like maybe... Uh, so, probably a 12 hatch... Uh, is going down for Sue here. He's going for that fast expansion. Flash probably going to fast expand himself. He is getting out a drone scout. The SCV looks like he's scouting in the wrong direction first. So I'm not going to scout uh, Sue just yet. There's both of the team, the coaches, I guess, the SKT on the left and the KT roster on the right. Probably a little bit bitter about the loss as the SKT's coach. But anyways, so both of them scouting in the wrong direction. Both going to now know exactly where each other are. But it really doesn't matter at this point. Uh, well, maybe not. It looks like, I don't know what Flash is doing with that other CV. Probably just going to scout again. He's got two supply depots and a barracks down. Notices that uh, he's not there. Probably going to bring that SCV back to his base. That hatchery is probably almost done. Uh, g gas not even uh, up yet. He is spawning. He is getting his spawning pool. So pretty good there. Um, I couldn't tell if she was cute or not. But <laughs> but anyways, this SCV is going to scout the entire base. Know exactly what builds that. Sue went for, and Flash looks like he's going to put his command center after noticing that uh, Sue went for his sp fast expand. Marines being built out of that barracks, that drone scout's not going to get in, which is uh, critical because he doesn't know what exactly what Flash is doing. I mean, I, he can obviously assume that Flash went his 14cc uh, pretty much, um, you know, because that's the build he does almost every single time. He does that quick quick CC all the time, extractor down, transferring drones to that extractor. But yeah, Flash is definitely known for his quick command center builds, quick expansion, two Marines at the front gate there. And uh, not too much else going on, just building supply depots. Doesn't have his refinery up just yet, but it will be up in a matter of seconds. And that SCV there scouting for any kind of uh, expansion that Sue would put on. And uh, Flash, I mean, Flash is obviously the favorite to win here because he's just on such a tear doing so well lately. And it would be really disappointing to see um, Sue beat him. Looks like another hatchery being morphed in at the front of that expansion, probably to, you know, join those creep together, because there are no creep tumors, obviously, in StarCraft 1. Other than that, though, everything's uh, pretty standard. Engineering bay going up, probably to deter any kind of mutalisks, get upgrades for his marines. And the overlords are just, you know, kind of moving around looking for anything to scout. Sue transferring his drones over to his natural, and that third hatchery is finished now, layer tech morphing in, and uh, another barracks going up for Flash, so he's probably going to go SK Terran build is what I'm assuming. 
Looks like he has about seven marines at his ramp there. Probably gonna build a bunker just to make sure it's secure. A little arc going on for Sue with his zerglings. That SCV just uh, scouting that base there to see if he goes for any type of expansion. There's Sue. I've actually I don't know if he if he's a new player or if he's an old player. I'm not entirely sure. Don't think I've seen him too much, uh, but we all know about SKT1's problem with their Zerg players and how they have really no reliable Zerg. I mean, Hyuk is probably their best Zerg, and uh, Hyuk is he's better than he was. Not not uh, very good though, still. And it looks like maybe another bunker. So a little bit playing defensive here is Flash, and another barracks. So uh, he doesn't have an cat. Oh, there the academy is building, so he's probably going to go medic marine. Uh, ball is what I'm assuming here. Not entirely sure. It's kind of a late academy, it seems like. It's those uh, five Zerglings look like they're going to move out. And, oh, the, no, that was a supply depot, not a, not a bunker. Just built a supply depot. Try to block off. Probably try to block the uh, Lings from surrounding the bunker a little bit. And that's a really good move there. That's really good building placement. I mean, you know, when you're at the tier that these players are at, all their buildings are placed perfectly. None of them are, you know, just randomly placed anywhere. They're, they're all for a purpose. It's always for a purpose. And as you see there, those uh, supply depots are probably around the command center, you know, for the same thing. So nothing, it can't get surrounded, picked off really quickly or anything like that. Looks like this drone is going to go for an expansion here. And I don't know if a flash is going to see this. He actually might, if he goes for that, uh, if Sue goes for that mineral base that's right below that SCV. The SCV could be really critical, but he, it doesn't look like he is. It might He might be going towards the uh, 5 o'clock instead of that 5.30 position. Not entirely sure. Looks like turrets being built up by the mineral line, probably to deter any type of mutilisk or anything. Comsat also down at the main factory being built as well. And uh, don't know if there's any... Yeah, so now the Mulists are out, and uh, there's a Hydralist then going on as well. So he's already planning on switching tech, probably going to make Flash build a you know, fair amount of turrets and anti-air and stuff, and then he's probably going to go in with the Hydralist. Pretty good move there, and it looks like Sue did pick up the bottom right base there. Critically, there's no line of sight there, and I think it's that, that's what the uh, <coughs> Korean commentators were pointing out here. There is good tur turret placement, however. And he's going to be able to, you know, take some shots off of that uh, supply depot, but however, he's not going to be able to get into the middle line or anything without taking a, you know, a fair amount of shots from those missile turrets. And as you can see, he's being really deterred. And this is kind of bad for Sue, you know, because he, you know, needs to do some damage with these mutilists or the force of Flash is just going to macro a ton and that's going to be really bad for him. It looks like more forces are streaming in, maybe Zerglings, yeah, so, so some more Zerglings are streaming in and he needs to do something with these uh, these mutiling forces because if he doesn't, Flash, I mean, at two bases he's going to be able to macro up a ton and he's not really trading off anything too well, does pick off a Marine there, but uh, not a very good trade off here, especially if he loses a Mulist. One Marine for one Mulist is not a good thing. Oh, good pick off of the Medic there. Although, and that uh, Supply Depot is burning, so pick, doing pretty good micro, actually, now. But there's a lot of Medic Marines there, and those Zerglings are going to get picked off, it looks like. Um, he needs to move those Zerglings, and yeah, that's exactly what he does. He does move his uh, Mulist back as well. Looks like so is transferring probes. <laughs> Not probes, drones to his uh, bottom right expansion there. Hidden expansion, rather. I don't know if Flash knows it's there yet. He does have that SUV down there, but I don't think he scouted it. Picking off another Marine. And I think they got one Mutalisk a little bit earlier there, but I, I think that's all he's lost. I think all he's lost is one Mutalisk, which is pretty good.